This is Slashy here at day two of IPL5 here in Las Vegas, and I am here with the director at GSL, Mr. Shea, to talk to us about producing this weekend's event. Everything here done IPO is produced by GSL, and also having the final Code S season of 2012 here happening tomorrow with the finals on Sunday. Mr. Shea, how does it feel to be here in Las Vegas? Yeah, uh, I'm totally fine about Las Vegas. I, this is my twice, uh, this is my second time to visit Vegas. Uh, always I visit Vegas is really, I feel awesome. And so many foreign spectators and especially U.S. spectators uh, are always cheering for GSL and IPL5 and StarCraft and other games action. So we are very happy to hear and we are very honored to produce whole IPL5 StarCraft actions. How do you compare Las Vegas to the other cities outside of Korea that you visited across America and Europe? Yeah, uh, actually, I have, I never been to Europe, so I can't compare with Europe. But uh, in Korea, in other U.S. city, uh, there is some very very silent in after midnight. But in Vegas, always very uh, always many people are crowds at casino or the outside of the street. So it's very cr it's very similar to Korea. Korea 24/7 always people are crowded at some 24/7 stores or some bars or some street. So it's very similar to Korea. Yes. Have you gone gambling yet? No, I I got gambling so much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, half lose and half win. So I'm I'm break even now. <laughs> I make more money three days later. <laughs> I wish I could say the same about myself. So this is pretty much the first event that you're producing for another league where you are in control of the production all for StarCraft and for League of Legends this weekend. And I have to say, I am really impressed, uh, along with a lot of other people that have been watching this weekend, and I've seen threads on Team Liquid and Reddit and other community sites on Twitter, et cetera, about how you have produced this event so far. So can you talk us, to, talk us through about producing the event so far this weekend? How did this come about? Um, why did you decide to try to take this on yourself? Uh, actually, we, we run our event with IPL4 last Vegas, uh, last April. So we just bring our GSTL event with IPL4. So at the time, we produce our own event, GSTL finals, and IPL team produced their event, IPL4. So um, we discuss. Uh, David Ting uh, and me discuss about IPL5 action, and we decide to go and produce whole StarCraft 2 because we uh, there are two separate teams. It is very hard to control other one IPL5 league. And after we switched out all equipment and should produce GSTL and GSL finals, so we decide to just one team handle whole producing about StarCraft 2 and. David Ting is very, I'm very honored to, I'm very thankful to David Ting. He allowed to produce, go on produce whole IPL5 StarCraft to action. Because we have many experience about uh, producing StarCraft. Uh, 250 days a year, we producing live events. So David Ting knows that he allow us to produce this. Now, our production team especially handle IPL5 uh, he, his Twitter is Gom Soju, yes, uh, G O M S O J O. He is really prepared so many visuals, especially map visuals. You can find that IPL5, Ohana, or something. Yes, he producing so many visuals to prepare IPL5 production. So we are very honored, and we prepare so much and so hard. Uh, I. Please show your amazing or uh, yeah, cheering for Gom Soju <laughs> for Twitter. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, were you worried at all that with the GSL finals here, that having taking taking on IPL five and producing the main StarCraft two tournament would be just too much work, and it would it would take too much time to do the overlays and map selections, etc. Yes, uh, actually, actually our issue when we decide this, so we have we bring 70 production team to Las Vegas from GOM. Uh, almost the whole production team is here, uh, here, and we separate, we, we have three PDs for direct 
direction of uh, pro three events. So one PD Gomsoj handle IPL for whole IPL five, and one one other PD handle all World Championship series, and third PD is producing GSL uh, semifinals and finals. So we work separate, and then they they work, but they prepared the whole VCR uh, at the same time. So we almost put our all effort to produce this tournament. Yes. Uh, how different is it for you to produce another league's tournament besides your own? Yes, uh, in Korea, I don't know if it's the same in the U.S. Uh, in Korea, we are very, very, as you know, we are very care about the other people's things. So actually, we, I think, and I assume, the Gom Soju, he, who is handling IPL5, producing IPL5, he did his best ever. <laughs> even he, he, even uh, GSL, even more than GSL, I guess. So he's preparing so much things now, so he's ha very happy. I, I show the foreign spectators the reaction about GOM production in IPL5. I show him to yesterday. Uh, he was very appreciative about to your, you. Yeah. With how well things have gone so far this weekend, do you see yourself producing the next IPL event or even maybe doing your own event here, a finals here, not affiliated with any league? Uh, you mean you know, we want we want produce more event or? Well, I was wondering two things. What, do you think that this will continue into IPL 6? And do you think you'll produce uh, the next IPL event? Or has the success that you've had here made you think about maybe doing your own GSL event here, not associated with any of the other leagues? Yeah, that's, that's the option, I guess. So uh, maybe we need to discuss about this with David Ting or if we want to cooperation with IPL 6 or 7 or eight, but uh, it is a high possibility with David Ting. And it is very hard to make our own event in US because we have just one uh, game, StarCraft, now, now by, uh, so far. So it is very hard to run our own event, I guess. So at first we can work with IPL and we can extend our production and we can extend our partnership with the other games with IPL. David Ting, like, like League of Legends or some other games too. You want to kick them games, right? I, I do. <laughs> yes, uh, I know Punko, so <laughs> maybe next time I can bring Punko to here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to introduce you to Laugh and Infiltration. They keep asking me. I'm sorry, Laugh. I promised you I would do it. I will introduce you to Mr. Shea uh, later on. So for this whole partnership to come to fruition to begin with and for you to produce IPL this weekend, you had to bring the GSL Code S Finals here in the first place. The last time you brought GSL outside of Korea was for BlizzCon last year. That to me was one of the largest crowds and like most loved reactions I've ever seen at an esports event. Is what you saw BlizzCon last year what made you want to do this again? Yes, uh, absolutely. We we made BlizzCon last, last year, 2011 October, and MMA won that tournament and MMA was the he felt that was the most impressive moment at his life. So, so do we, uh, so do GOM too. We, GOM production team feels that this is the uh, most impressive things when, since we run GSL tournament. So uh, we decided to, we can, we should, we can cooperate with uh, some other, some other tournament, international tournament. At the time, uh, we met so many other organizers like uh, my MLG, IPL World Remake, and ESL. And David Ting invited me, IPL 3, the Atlantic City, and we talked together and we can we decide to work, work together. So oh, here comes David Ting. <laughs> so we can work together and we, so that's why we came here, yeah. Uh, what do you think about the atmosphere and the vibe here in America for your event compared to when you host them normally in Korea? Do you feel that there's a different environment here compared to the fans in Korea? Does it make you want to hold more events here or maybe in Europe? Uh, uh, the fans' reaction is now almost the same. The last year, the 
foreign fans, especially US and Europe fans, are more passionate and more cheerful for players. But now, in Korean fans, is they saw whole esports tournament, international tournament, all right, like you saw JSL, all right. So they feel we need to cheer up. <laughs> yes, so we we should win against the foreign fans. So <laughs> they start start to screaming, they start to clapping. So uh, now almost the same. But the most most different thing is environment about the internet and some equipment and some other guys, some other infrastructure. The, to be honest, infrastructure is Korea is much much better. It's much better. <laughs> it's much better than US. So the most uh, most hard things is to build to build infra infrastructure in US. But uh, so many good people and so many passionate fans are here, and they pay for entrance this, so they they get amazing more uh, their experience, I guess. Yeah. You really think the Korean fans, seeing all the foreign events in the past year, have gotten more passionate yeah. themselves? Yes, absolutely. They, they <laughs> I saw the community. They said to each other, uh, "We need to more passionate." against the esports fans in U European and US event. And one, uh, one U US fans say like that, Korean has best player in the world, but we have best fans in the, in the world. <laughs> so some Korean fans translate that and uh, post that in community. Some Korean fans like, do you know, uh, as you know, Koreans want, Koreans really like to win at all, t at all parts so <laughs> all games all parts yeah, yeah. no matter what it is yes so they want we should win so they are cheering more much harder so now it's almost same i guess <laughs> uh now you mentioned other games before league of legends and capcom games maybe they just made an announcement with ipl this weekend you've run, run you've run starcraft since the beginning of the gsl first the brood war and now with starcraft 2 do you see yourself expanding into other games? The biggest one, of course, being League of Legends, especially with how it's done so well in Korea as of late. Do you see yourself expanding to other games, uh, with League of Legends being the, in the number one to talk about? Yeah, so I think every organizer think like the same things. They they always want to expand expand their games, like League of Legends and IPL, especially Shun Many at this time. So we, we are the same. Uh, we are specialized now in StarCraft 2 and GSL, but we have figured out how can we expand other games like League of Legends and other, other, some other games too. So, but uh, nothing fixed yet, but we are, we are planning to run some small event. Uh, like like we, we ran IPL 5 League of Legends Korean National Qualifier uh, Boom, run that so we can act like that way with cooperation with the IPL and then we can expand all the other games oh, like League of Legends or, or other games. Yes. Hmm. Uh, do, you, do you like League of Legends? Do you, would that be the game that you would choose or any one game that you would pick over the others? I know Tekken is really big in Korea and, and Street Fighter has also been really big. There's games like Sudden Attack and Crossfire and shooting games. Uh, I can't tell that yet, but you can know two, 2013, you can know that. He's teasing you, he's teasing <laughs> you, that's, that's what we want here. Um, with MSL kind of went away last year to focus on music programming, uh, yeah. and then that only left on GameNet and you to produce gaming content in Korea. Uh, has that had any impact on the way that you do things? Have you felt more pressure now that it's just you and OGN to, to do things either between you two or overall for the whole Korean market to keep on keeping on with video games? Yeah, yes, uh, we, we feel some pressure because the, the most Korean fans feel the Korean market is getting smaller. They are worrying about that. So we, we should, that's why we should expand our games, not only in StarCraft to the other games too. So uh, we we will run most game, almost games, and we will run the StarCraft, especially next. Uh, sorry, okay. Uh, we should run StarCraft 2 
next year too. The biggest part is also StarCraft 2 next year. Part is also on the small part of, of the, the other game like Tekken. We discussed about Tekken last month, but it doesn't work well. So, but we will work again and about other games too. So yes, we got some pressure about Korean fans worrying about the getting smaller in Korean market. So we will make the big market with cooperation with OGN and other organizers too. I guess it's a little side topic to talk about StarCraft 2 specifically, and with the rise of League of Legends over in Korea, it seemingly dominates the market and all the PC bongs and all the players, even the spectators seem to be really coming out for that game. Has there been any worry between you, any of the teams, all the teams through all the leagues about StarCraft 2 not being maybe as big as it should be or Heart of the Swarm trying to bring the life back to StarCraft to Korea? Yes, uh, Star I'm so impressed about the all, all the world fans is fighting each other, League of Legends fans and StarCraft fans. I feel that's only in Korea, but I, I saw the Reddit and Team Liquid on that they fight each other too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's very funny. Uh, anyway, the old games is, any other games is good for organizers. If uh, StarCraft, but StarCraft has the, uh, two more expansion, Heart of the Storm and Legacy, Void of Legacy. Or? Yeah, Void, Legacy of the Void. Uh, Legacy of, sorry, <laughs> Legacy of Void. So uh, League of, of Legends has no expansion, I guess, I guess. I guess, right? Not, not yeah, yet. They're, they're thinking yet. about maybe a new game, but yeah. nothing happened yet. Yeah. So, uh, StarCraft 2 has more, has so many fans. So, if re they release Heart of the Storm, then it will be shift or maybe 50-50, I guess. So, StarCraft 2 fans really waiting for Heart of the Storm now. Will you switch over to Heart of the Swarm once it's released? Yes. Yes, uh, we are planning to switch immediately. If uh, during our season, Heart of the Storm release, then we should finish the Wings of Liberty that season, and we, sh we will switch immediately next season to Hush. Uh, so now we are talking about, discussing about that with the bridge to when we switch and when we making schedule. 2013. Uh, so in the past few months, uh, we've finally been able to see the Kespa players join GSL and play in the Code S, and that's, they've already made it the finals, they've already made it really exciting here. We have innovation here, yeah. uh, also participating in, in this Code S. What has the Kespa players playing in GSL done for the excitement around the league and for even in the fans over in Korea? Uh, actually, the in Korea, the fans are separated. The Brood War fans and Star original StarCraft 2 fans. So, uh, the Casper players join GSL, so we can bring the original fans to watch GSL. So our uh, GSL fans are much grower, grower now. But uh, they play, they play not. Many times, not many, much times like ESF players, not yet. So the top tier players is m much more less than ESF players, but they fight each other than ESF and Caspa fight each other. So more drama and more, more not, not drama, more in in-game drama, I mean. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. In-game drama. So fans, much more excitement, feel excitement about that. Yeah. Do you feel that's a real rivalry? Because we've kind of seen Korea versus the Westerner foreigners be a real a rivalry. Do you think that with the introduction of the Kespa players, that the Kespa versus ESF has become just as big of a storyline between people? Yes, uh, because we have not only in-game drama, but also the <laughs> reality drama. So it will be huge, explosive to fans or some other steps too. But so far, ESF players is um, much stronger than Casper players so far now yet. So it is too early to all star matches or fighting each other. Then maybe hard to release. Then it will be make some balance. Then we can make that happen. Yeah. 
So I guess I kind of want to talk a little bit about what's happened lately. Just a few months ago, uh, the Kessel players weren't going to join Code S, and then the ESF decided to pull out of OSL. Yeah. And then that kind of went back and forth. Blizzard had to mediate between ESF and Kespa to try to make smooth everything out. And then we kind of really haven't heard in the past, you know, month or so about what the current relationship is between either GSL and ESF or Kespa. It's also announced that you are now going to be pretty much running the Esports Federation for, for Korea. So I guess first off, uh, what came into play? Why did you decide to now be the lead organizer of the ESF instead of letting one of the team owners try to take over? Yeah, <laughs> yeah very sensitive uh, question. So the thing has changed. The, uh, when Brood War, there are only one organization in about players in the world. It is Casper. So uh, if they pull out their player or other tournament or one tournament, then the organizers can't run their tournament because there is no player in the world. But things have changed, so now ESF players here and other foreign teams uh, players here, like Team Liquid and EG and some other foreign teams here. So Caspa has, uh, Caspa has some portion and ESF has, has a portion and other organizers has portion too. So now things change if they, they can control all the world. So um, the ESF players are very, we are very appreciated to ESF players because, because of them, our GSL is bigger and bigger all the world and they, or uh, they travel around the international tournaments, so MLG and IPL and DreamHack and ESL, any other tournaments. So that's why all foreign spectators watching the most skilled played player they can watch enjoy enjoying that. So, so we support them. We should support them ESF players. So that's why we get. We should organize that ESF. Uh, and and relations with Caspa and Ojen is now getting better and better. Now uh, in past past years we uh, fight each other and actually or uh, actually slot <laughs> we just slotted. But now things change, so we talk to each other and get relationship better, getting better and better. Now we can expect some more action. 2013. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say like how far along do you think? the relationship is right now should we be expecting maybe some type of like you know kespa versus gsl league or tournament anytime soon or do you think that's still a little ways off then you can pay for that <laughs> <laughs> that's the most important thing <laughs> how much is that uh, no no it's just kidding uh, anyway so actually we are starting to discuss about the interleague team league, the cross team league, or the unified team league, but it is very hard to unify the team league because we have two different different company. So need to solve need to solve many things. But first time we can we can make show match at first and we can make interleague and in the in the end I think it is it is very good to spectators and more organizers to unify the team league, I guess. So I will try to make some show, show match first and try to make interleague and go on, so go on. Yes, and Kespa is a very good relationship with us. And we are talking each other. Every week we met Kespa and GOM and OGN and ESF players and we met and talk to each other. So. Now, getting better and better. You can expect 2013 and 14, I guess, yes. <laughs> I mean, I can't be alone in saying that I would love to see it. I think that's how everyone uh, pretty much feels. So a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, uh, Major League Gaming, DreamHack, and the Electronic Sports League announced they would be forming a partnership to quote unquote unify, uh, to elevate esports. Um, I asked IPL, they said they were not asked initially to join this partnership, but that might 
they might join in the future. I wanted to know if you guys were asked to join this partnership and what your overall thoughts are about it. Do you, do you think that you might want to try to get all the leagues uh, to get, you might want to join in on something like this to try to do some of the things they said, which is like uh, rules for everybody, um, you know, a point system to try to rank different players. Is that something that you would be interested in? Uh, it's very hard to say. Uh, anyway, the point system is we can use global point system without the joining any other parties. You can use and and IPL use that their own own global point system and MLG can use by their own global point system. They can get give seed for ESL winners to anyway. So, uh, but unified league is very very hard because they have their own business model and all all organizer tournament business model is different. MLG and DreamHack. MLG is uh, DreamHack has no PPV. They just only uh, they have business model. Their business model is based on sponsors or something. So. It is very hard to unify the tournament, but it's very good thing to they can make schedule. Con they can make no schedule conflict, or they can make see each other, or they can cross promotion each other. It is very good. So, but I think 2013, it is something involved in government body, as you always mentioned about that government body. Someone should go, someone should handle that, but I think it's it's political, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so to kind of end this off on a lighthearted note, I want to ask two things. First, I've been watching GSL leading up to this this uh, finals for Code S, and in the beginning of every game, there's Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. Where did that come from, <laughs> and what was the idea yeah. to put that in? Uh, we have. We have the music producer who called BK. He always makes so many good music to spectators. So in Korea, BK is really famous. Uh, it is very rare things the music producer is famous to, and he used their his own nickname. So BK is producing his music, the spot, the spot about Vegas. Uh, I don't know what exactly he inspire, inspiring about that, but I feel Vegas. Vegas is uh, Vegas has some fantasy, right? Uh, in Co in Korea, uh, almost Koreans have some fantasy to Vegas because they never been to Vegas, so that caused some fantasy, I guess. <laughs> Who is going to be your champion come Sunday? Uh, I think Hyun. Hyun is the man of IPL, so <laughs> he can be the champion of this GSL Season 5. And the, one of the TSL players, I assume, one of the TSL players win this IPL 5. So I assume that. Why, why Hyun? Just because of how well he's played in IPL? Is there anything that you've seen from him lately yeah. that's been special? Yes, uh, his ZBT skill is really good, and his ZBZ is really good too. So uh, his semifinals opponent is innovation. Uh, he should play with ZBT, and so many good Zerg players in TSL. So they can talk to each other, and now TSL players now getting higher in IPL tournament. So he can feel much better, uh, much better confidence, and especially innovation is. This is the first time he fly to US and compete the long, long time tournament because Casper players just playing one or two games a day and take a rest one week and one or two games a day. So he is not familiar about this tournament. Uh, so I guess the Hyun has more experience about that. Bonus question. You have the GSL World Championships here, the Korea World Team. Yeah versus the Foreigner World Team. Okay, of course, MVP is no longer here, but Squirtle's a pretty good replacement for him. Now, I'm gonna ask you who do you think's gonna win. I pretty much didn't know what your answer is gonna be. <laughs> well, how, what are your chances for the white dudes to actually make an upset here and beat the Koreans? Uh, I think the first round, round one, the Pro League, the entry, five, five player again, play against each other, I think that 
round one, World All Stars win round one, and round two GSTL, GSTL round two, then Korean All Star win, and so the ace match, best of three ace matches will be decide who will win, I guess. So the coach is really important about that. Mm -hmm. Who will be the ace? The coach one will represent a team Korean team, All-Star team. And the Robin, the team liquid player manager, will represent a team world All-Star team. So I saw those Scarlet play yesterday. She's really good. And I saw, I feel some scary. Yeah. And Korean community feels some scary about Scarlet. And they they chanting, we need MVP. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. So there are 50-50 world All-Star team high possibility can win this time. Last time, almost people, even the foreign community, 2011, think the Korean All-Star team dominate world All-Star team. But do, can you remember score? Do you remember score? It was pretty close, what I remember. Yes, the eight, seven. Yeah. Yes, just the one set. Nasty kill. The Dimaga. Yeah, and, Dimaga yeah, at the very end. Yeah, yes, and here uh, the Korean World Star team win, but this time it's very close, like last time, I guess. Well, I won't be shaving my head anytime soon, even if we <laughs> win anyway. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Mr. Shea, I want to give you an opportunity to give any last words um, you'd like to say for all the GSL fans out there for what they should be expecting later this year and for next year. Yes, uh, next year we'll change our GSTL to full league and twice a year. So you can expect their non-stop action GSTL players. And we, can, we will make playoff just a one week playoff. After full league, one week playoff. So you can focus to GSTL playoff. And so many good players are coming out every season. So you can expect 2013 GSL. And we have some more in uh, it called enhanced enhanced HD quality oh, so you can, nice yes you can you can see GSL much more good quality oh, HD is where it's at thank you <laughs> Mr. Shea it was great talking with you here I can't wait for you to come back to the US so we can beat you again I am Slasher this is GameSpot.com stay tuned to GameSpot.com slash esports for coverage all weekend long of IPL5 here in Las Vegas